Hey guys, welcome back. You are located on top of my cab and Peter asked me to explain a little bit about the Harrier. Actually asked me to explain the Harrier and the Rolling Harrier. Um, rolling Harrier, we'll do that later. Let's just start with the straight up wings level upright Harrier because that's difficult enough. Um, and when you master the Harrier and the inverted Harrier and high alpha knife edge, that's when you can start thinking about, um, you know, the, the, the Harrier rolls. So, all right, normal Harrier, flying it with the uh, EXP again. Um, basically, the normal upright Harrier is a maneuver where you are flying your plane um, beyond the stall point. So in a stalled configuration, pretty much using your motor to keep it up, right? What we will do throughout the entire flight is use all surfaces and all controls because you need your motor the whole time. Um, our ailerons will just use them to pretty much keep the wings level, to keep the wings level. If you want to make a turn, you do that with the rudder. You pretty much, the most important controls in the Harrier is the elevator and the rudder. Um, the elevator, you will be using that at 50 to 100% with good 3D resolution um, um, throughout the entire Harrier. And you will have to vary that um, to keep the angle of your plane correct, right? And you'll be using the rudder as well. So basically, I don't know, maybe Maybe people look at their wings when they're flying. I don't know what, what, what you focus on when you're flying, but in the Harrier, basically I only look at the fuselage and at the, um, the direction that's going. And I try to steer the plane so my fuselage keeps going in the, the direction I want it to go, right? All right, that was a bit of explanation. Um, there's a lot going on during a Harrier, but let's have a look and let's go. All right, so um, let's see. Let's start with entering the Harrier. Um, I'm flying away now. So at first, the easiest is probably to get on a line, cut the throttle, and use the elevator to keep the nose up until the plane starts stalling and then start applying a bit of throttle to keep it on an altitude, right? Uh, then I would recommend training your Harrier at about Well, let's say 20 meters 60 feet something like this right um, Because you don't want to ruin your plane uh, and be prepared if anything goes wrong Ooh, my wing drops to just power out and try again um, You don't want to kill your plane on the first attempt because you'll need a lot of attempts to make it look really good, right? so basically recover Come down again, cut the throttle, keep the nose up, let the plane stall, and then start to catch it with your throttle, right? Basically in a straight line against the wind, doesn't take a whole lot of input. Um, some planes, they tend to uh, have some wing rock in there. You know, you can counter that a little bit with the ailerons. Wing rock is this. <laughs> and basically it's it's difficult to uh, to induce by yourself the wing rock um, but basically your your wings will go roll right roll left like that you can counter that with your ailerons all right now the most important thing is and I'll come by a bit closer look at the movement of my tail This is with the wind and a bit of crosswind, so there's a lot of work. Right now this is a bit easier because it's more against the wind. And look at, at how my elevator is constantly working and my rudder is constantly working to keep that fuselage where I want it, right? All right, if you, if you have this um, the straight Harrier down, try, you know, start with big circles, okay? Or big patterns big ovals, whatever you want, so slow turns. Um, if you turn, you make your, you actually make your turn with the rudder and during the turn be prepared to counter the roll because if I make a left hand turn on my rudder, 
my wings will start to drop left so I'll have to go right aileron in a left hand turn to keep the wings level right hand turn exactly the opposite I'll have to use left aileron to keep my wings level see if you can see that when I do it here if that was a left turn and you see me applying right aileron so start with flying big patterns right um, and then when you get more proficient you can start flying maybe smaller turns or figure eights and it's best to start training this you know in in not too windy conditions because you see that right now sort of into the wind it's kind of slow but once I get the wind in the back you know I have to react I need a bit more trouble I need to work a bit more to keep it well okay so do figure eights um, teach yourself how to do this in any direction because you know well me for instance I I really have a preferred side for any maneuver I really like my maneuvers from right to left so uh, when practicing new maneuvers now I try to practice them in a way that I can go from left to right and from right to left um, yeah uh, so yeah that's the uh, that's the Harrier uh, let's see some some different entries into a Harrier you can do the uh, the turnaround where you go like and just catch it right one of the more dramatic ways to enter a Harrier is to just go high point the nose at the ground test this high first but then just go you know full up and, and a bit of power and just have it stop And you can work that into really cool tricks like this low you know flip and catch all right that was it I'm going to land um, I've proven to myself that I can do Harrier landings uh, you have to trottle up a bit when your tailwheel hits the ground otherwise the the nose will uh, or the, your main gear will hit the ground harder um, I just don't want to destroy any more planes with it so I'm just doing normal landings right now so there you go um, right so um, uh, once again um, flying with all four uh, sticks or with two sticks working in all four directions we use trouble for our altitude we use the ailerons just to keep the wings level and then we're working the tail all the time and I'm always somewhere in between here and here so that's somewhere between half and full deflection on my elevator and I just work that to keep the fuselage in the correct angle and then I keep my fuselage lined up by constantly applying just a bit of bit of rudder um, yeah it's really fun to watch it's really fun to do it takes a bit of practice but you know um, anything worthwhile takes a bit of practice so I hope you enjoyed the video I hope you enjoy practicing this I'd love to see your videos trying this um, and if you have any questions please feel free to ask and if you want to see more of this please subscribe to the channel thanks a lot and see you later bye bye